Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Ninja Mommy. Guys, let me ask you something. What is the most important thing in any relationship? Ding, 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 communication, guys. Communication is really, really, really important between siblings, between husband and wife, between friends, between parents and children. So this week, I'm going to be talking about how to communicate with your children. From the very start, kids are always trying to communicate with you. In the beginning, they cry. They let you know, like, mom, I need to eat. Mom, I need to get my diaper changed. Mommy, I need to, like, play or I'm bored or stuff. In the beginning, it's all crying. So there's like different, different ways they cry and over time, figure it out, which cry means hunger, and which cry means diaper change and which cry means just bored. As our babies grow and mature, their communication style changes. It goes from pointing to everything to eventually talking. Kids don't start talking until way later. Usually kids don't start talking until a year and a half to two years to until three years when they can fully like, you know, make sentences. Some kids do it early, some kids do it late. It just varies, but what do you do until then? How do you understand what they want? How do you know what they want? Babies are just always like, mama, ah, ah, ah. and you're like, oh, do you want this? And they're like, uh-uh. And then they're just keep pointing and you're like, oh, do you want this? And they're like, uh-uh. So you just keep playing that game like 20 times until finally, finally you pick up that object that they want and give it to them. And they're like, ha I'm all happy now. But how do you avoid that? How do you like avoid picking up 20 objects every single time they want something? I'll tell you how guys, through the use of baby sign language. Um, baby sign language is slightly different from the ASL language because the baby sign language has signs that are specific uh, to the baby and they're specific to the baby's needs. So what is baby sign language? Baby sign language is, is a way of communicating with your child. So you use gestures, you use your hands to communicate with them. Kids don't learn how to talk until later, but they're so smart, so smart, mashallah. They are able to pick up on gestures like this. Until your kid actually learns how to talk to you, you can use gestures to communicate with each other. How old does a baby have to be before you start using sign language? You can start from the day they're born. But if you want to see some results, I'd say wait a little bit longer. The longer you wait, the more quickly they're able to produce signs. Typically around six months. I know six months is like the age to do everything. Like what do you do before six months? <laughs> That's what you do. So wait until your baby's at least six months. If the baby starts pointing like, you know, that's a good sign. That's a good indicator that they're ready. Another thing is when they start waving bye-bye, this is usually the first sign that babies do. They just start waving bye-bye. That's an indicator that they're ready as well. Another sign would be to pick up on if they're like getting frustrated, they're not able to get their thoughts across to you. They're not able to tell you what they want. If you've started playing the 20 object game, then that's also an indicator that they are ready for sign language. Will using sign language make my baby not want to talk like ever? No, using sign language will actually promote language accusation. Because every time you're going to use the sign language or any symbol, you are going to be saying the symbol as well. So you're not hindering your baby's uh, speech development in any way. You're actually encouraging it because the more exposure they get to words, the more likely they're able to talk. When you use a symbol for them, like for example, if you use the symbol for milk, every time you say, every time you do the symbol, you're actually going to say the word milk and that's how they're going to pick up on it. If you speak more than one language, you can also do the symbol and say it in English and the other language at the same time. That is okay as well. I sometimes alternate between Urdu and Punjabi and my husband does it with Gujarati. So she gets exposed to like four languages all at once. English, Urdu, Punjabi, Gujarati. So when I say this, I'm like milk and then I say dud or I say dudu. <laughs> You guys, this is the book that I recommend for Baby Sign Language. I read it. It's an amazing, amazing book. It has all the information, all your questions answered. Um, it also has pictures of the sign. So eat, drink, more, have, dog, cat. So it gives you the pictures. So what I would do, because I'm a visual learner, I have to actually see someone doing it. So I would go online, uh, type in the sign and find a video of someone actually doing the sign for me so I can learn. And then I would replicate that. This book is amazing. I recommend it. It's called Baby Signs, How to Talk with Your Baby Before Your Baby Can Talk. And I will post the link to buy this from Amazon. It's so, so good, guys. 
highly highly recommended book if you want to start on this journey do i have to use every single sign that's listed in the book and do i have to use it, use it the exact same way no you can actually come up with your own signs as well that's what makes baby signs different from asl because you can incorporate your own sign if you don't want to use this for milk you want to do another symbol you can as long as it works for you and your baby that's all that matters as long as you guys are able to communicate with, with each other through gestures, that's what really counts at the end of the day. Okay, but like, why do I need to use baby sign language when my baby's gonna learn to talk anyways? Here's why, guys. Because your baby's trying to communicate with you and they're unable to. Because it eliminates tantrums. Tantrums are a huge thing when the kids reach about the age of two to eliminate frustration. When babies are not able to tell you what they want, they're going to get frustrated and they're going to show anger. When babies learn how to sign, they actually have less tantrums and they're less frustrated with life because they are able to get their needs across. They're able to tell you what they want. And because of that, they're no longer frustrated. And with this gesture, she's able to tell you, look, mommy, a cat, look, mommy, a dog. She's able to tell you everything. She's able to tell you all her experiences, which is so wonderful. You guys are going to be able to share experiences together through sign language. So enough information, now let's get to action. I am going to show you some of the basic signs that I taught Samara, show you her signs and my signs and how they differ as well. All right, let's begin. Milk or doo-doo or dude and Samara's sign was milk she picked up on the sign at the age of eight months because I started baby sign language then and she picked up on it within like two weeks of knowing it within like a few weeks of knowing it she picked up on it really fast so the first sign might take a little bit longer than the others but once they once you see that first sign you're just like wow sleep so this was my sign and this is Samara's sign eat so in the beginning, Samara's each sign was this, and now at like 17 months, it's this. Next sign is drink, and Samara's sign is this, for when she wants her water. Another sign is more, like I want more, more grapes, more stuff, and Samara does this for more. Another one is hat, and Samara's sign is hat. The dog, it's like you take your tongue out, I can't really show you that, but you take your tongue out and then you do like the dog gesture, like <laughs> I incorporated this, like <laughs> Samara never stuck her tongue out, but she does do the gesture like this <laughs> without like the tongue. She just makes the sound. Whenever she sees a dog, she's like <laughs> cat, it's this, like, you know, the whiskers of the cat and Samara's sign for cat is the reason she made this sign was because in one of the books there's a cat and the cat's like licking her paws and stuff so then samara picked up on that so now she does this for cat for book so you just open and close open and close and samara's sign for book is this she just puts them together like that i started teaching her this sign like from the beginning but she just recently picked up on the book sign and the next sign is bird so you just flap your wings like this or flap your hands and tomorrow's sign is also this and for diaper i did change your diapers so you like pat your hip and samara does that hip sign i have a funny story about that so every time samara wanted to go upstairs she would just go to the gate and just do the diaper sign but being my naive self thought she needs a diaper change so i would like you know let her like crawl upstairs and as soon as she would get upstairs she would just start running around and just like you know disappear and i'm like what just happened and her diaper was fine she just started doing this sign because she knows that anytime she does this mama is going to take her upstairs and then she can go upstairs and play and then i taught her that the sign for upstairs is this so whenever you want to go up you just do this you don't have to do the diaper sign anymore so eventually she picked up on it and this is her up sign and then this is her down sign the next sign is hot it's similar to the dog one but instead of doing the you do the you should make the shape of your mouth round and do like hot, it's sizzling. That is gentle, so you teach your baby to touch someone else gently. So Samara does this as well. The sign for stop is this. And I actually never taught her the sign for stop. We just have a, you know, the white noise machine in her room. And then whenever I would go in there, I would be like, hey Google, stop. And then she saw me do that every time. And she just eventually like picked up on it. Every time I'd say, hey Google, she would just go like this or just like this. She learned that sign all on her own. I tried teaching her the sign wait, which is this. She picked up on it and said, this is wait. <laughs> this is her sign for all gone. 
all done. Food is done. I'm done playing. I'm done like sitting here. I'm done with you, mama. Like I can't even, I'm so done. So this is the sign for banana. And Samara's sign for banana is this. And this is also her uh, sign for socks. Even though the real sign for socks is this. But Samara just does this for banana and socks. Cracker, I taught her this. And Samara's sign for cracker is this. <laughs> and for blueberries, it's blue berries. So blue berries. Samara's sign for berries in general is this. Now, last but not the least, guys, I taught her the sign for grapes as this. And her grape sign is the grapes crawl all the way up to her shoulder and into her mouth. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed making it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions about the baby sign language and I will definitely get back to you. Until next time, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace.